I have always wondered about the fish ponds. I mean, the fish ponds is a simple little thing you can build and it allows you to put up to 10 of any type of fish in it. Of course, each fish tank can only have one type of fish in them. But at the end of the day, there really is a huge variety and I wasn't ever sure which fish to actually use in the fish ponds. So instead of simply taking a look at the wiki, I thought I should create a ton of fish ponds and fill them all up with fish fish and test every fish in the game. That seemed much more appropriate and much more efficient in my opinion. So to get started, I loaded up my fruit tree farm, got a tractor and just destroyed all of my precious fruit trees. I needed this space, so it is what it is. Doing this did cause some weird lag, but it was a ton of fun to do. Would recommend a hundred percent. Then I simply built all of the fish ponds that I needed. I think it was about 38 in total. I wasn't really surprised at how much space these things take and also how cheap they are. Each fish pond costs 5 algae, 5 seaweed, 200 stone and 5000 gold. It would take quite a while to build all of these on a normal playthrough, but it is possible to build a ton of these on a regular playthrough if you wanted to. Building all of these fish ponds was the easy part, but filling each and every one of them was pretty tedious, especially since there are more fish than inventory space. But even that wasn't too bad compared to the next task. Your fish ponds will have a limited capacity at first. That depends on what fish you place in it. Most fish start off with a capacity of 3, but some of the rarer fish start off with a maximum capacity of 1, like the lava eel and the sturgeon. To increase the maximum capacity of a fish pond, you need to wait for your fish to request an item. You can see this by a large golden exclamation mark. Your fish will request something and if you throw the required item into the fish pond, they will be quite happy and allow you to add more fish to the fish pond. If you want to check out the wiki, you should be able to know exactly what each fish would need. But I like the surprise element. Some of the fish requested pretty simple things that made sense like driftwood, coral and clams. Some of the other fish had much richer taste requesting diamonds, quartz, even iridium bars? What are you gonna do with an iridium bar? And some of the fish requested other fish, which is really weird. I guess they got hungry or something? The rarity of the fish also determines how long it will take to actually upgrade your fish pond to the maximum capacity. Some of the fish were very quickly to upgrade and some of the rarer ones took much, much longer. I think the lava eel and the ice pip took the longest. Some of the simpler fish like the sardine were fully completed after two in-game days. For a comparison, the lava eel took 20 days to fully upgrade. Almost all of the fish produce fish roa. So, English is not actually my first language and it feels like I'm saying roa wrong. So this is probably the last time I will say that in the video. From now on, I will be calling it fish eggs. Almost all of the fish produce fish eggs. And most of the fish also produce some other item at a small drop chance. To determine which fish is best for the fish pond, I'll be ranking the fish in two categories. The first category is how much fish eggs the fish produces on average and how much they will sell for. This is a simple category. It is just based on how much money we can make with the fish pond filled with specific fish. Naturally, I will be turning all of the fish eggs I get into aged eggs and in some cases caviar. The second category is the rarity and the usefulness of the items that they can produce when they don't produce eggs. This category is a little bit subjective as you might find other items more valuable than I do. Let's get started with the fish eggs. You can age the fish eggs in a preservation bin to greatly increase the value. It takes 3 in-game days and it will double the value of the fish eggs. The end product is called age roa. Sturgeon eggs are quite unique as their eggs take 4 in-game days to age in the preservation bin and when they come out they are called caviar and have a different icon. Caviar will sell for 500 gold and I think everyone needs to get a fish pond with sturgeon in them at some point. And that is because caviar is needed to complete the missing bundle and to unlock the cinema. 
It also sells quite well at 500 gold each. After selling about one of each type of aged fish egg, I only made about 9000 gold, which was a little bit concerning. But let me just try and stay focused here. It is now time to crown a winner. In the first place, the aged lava eel at 760 gold each. The blobfish gets second place at 560 gold each. And caviar gets third place with 500 gold each. I am not gonna lie, all of the other fish eggs kind of suck. They are nowhere near as valuable as the top 3. And if your goal is purely money making, don't even bother with the other types of fish. Lava eel is actually first place by a huge margin because every time they produce fish eggs, they have a chance to produce between 1 and 3 eggs at a time. So not only are they worth more, but they can produce more. Yeah. Lava eels are just overpowered. Alrighty, now on to the second category. Most of the fish give very underwhelming things. I put all of the items I got from the fish in this chest. And you can see most of it is pretty random and not that useful. Rainbow Trout has a 0.1% chance of getting your prismatic shard. Super cucumbers can get you some iridium ore and amethysts. The ice pip and the stonefish can get you a diamond and the lava eel can give you 5 spicy eels which is really good in my opinion. The blobfish has a 2% chance of getting you a pearl which is a loved gift by most of the townspeople. Squids and midnight squid will only get you squid ink and they do not produce eggs. The lionfish can produce a tiger slime egg that sells for 8000 gold. And my favorite, the stingray can get you a dragon tooth, a battery pack and cinder shards. The rest are all pretty random and not that good in my opinion. My favorite from this category is definitely the stingray in first place and the lava eel at second place. Some of those fish produced like a single piece of wood and some of their aged eggs only sold for 90 gold and that is just not worth the effort in my opinion. Naturally, these fish that give better results are more difficult to catch but trust me, when you compare 700 gold to 90 gold, there is no doubt in my mind when I choose which fish to fill up a fish pond with. The best use we will get out of sardines is turning them into sashimi. And that brings us to the end of the video. Which fish do you usually put in your fish ponds on your farm? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you like the video, consider subscribing, liking the video, leave a comment, follow me on Twitch and join my Discord. Do all of those things or else your fish won't produce anything. Bye for now, I will see you in the next video.